particular online session, we have a very renowned diabetologist with us, Dr. Professor V. Sheshia, who is joining us from Chennai. So I would take a moment to introduce him. He is a renowned diabetologist, founder patron of V. Sheshia Diabetes Research Institute, as well as Balaji Diabetes Care Center and Research Institute of Chennai. And to chair this particular session, I would like to invite Dr. Sanjay Shah, who needs no introduction. He's the president of HDS and a renowned endocrinologist. Along with him, I would also like to invite Dr. Vishwajit Banerjee, endocrinologist. Sir, would you please kindly chair the sessions? And I would also uh, like to invite Dr. Shukumar Badik to join us as chairperson. Uh, sir, would you please kindly chair the session? And I think Dr. V. Sheshia has already joined us. Uh, uh, sir, you are on mute, sir. You can say something. Uh, Hello, could you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm very extremely happy to address this august audience. And uh, thanks to the chairperson and as well as the audience committee for inviting me to talk to this association. And particularly, Samar Banerjee only introduced me that they should come and talk to this place. Thank you very much for inviting me and I will start talking about the subject. Dr. Shesha, this is Dr. Shah here. Uh, yeah. Yes, I communicated with Dr. Banerjee yesterday and he had yes. mentioned that he has spoken to you. So thank you yes. very much for accepting our invitation, sir. We're waiting to hear from you. You can get started. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Chairpersons, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I have been asked by organizers to speak on this topic, a scope for primordial prevention of diabetes. What I find now will be most of the topics are <laughs> focused on the cardiology. But this is entirely different topic, entirely different what I want to listen to me now. Scope for primordial prevention of diabetes. That means you won't get anybody having heart failure, or heart disease, or kidney disease, nothing. I am saying here how to prevent diabetes itself. So, to, to give the introduction here, estimation and projection of the number of people put into 17 years with diabetes in different, in different editions are millions. If you look at the two, so 19 to 463 million, diabetes are there. Now, 231 again about 536 years, 1 million. It is going to go up to 2040. That means that steadily this disease is increasing, there is no way of stopping it, it is progressing. So, pre diabetes is approximately 380 million, which is likely to increase to about 480 million by 2040. So, this is a very, very, uh, which is very, very uh, bad for all of us because it is going to increase the disease. So, another thing to come out here is diabetes is an epidemic of unprecedented magnitude, that's what we are thinking. Now it's going to be pandemic, as told by the person. So we are having facing a very big situation in our country, in the world. So now, all of you, this is what I want to say. Detection of diabetes does not mean your diagnosed diabetes, it's always known. Does not mean prevention of diabetes. This is what I made mean, very clear, detection and prevention. Now, in this you see in the country, a lot of the aim is that everybody talks about defeat diabetes, beat diabetes, pre-diabetes, let us fight diabetes, declining, disability diabetes, demystic diabetes, assumed disability diabetes, all this is of the youths thinking they are protein and diabetes, not protein, so only detection. What I want, but these methods are unmarking already this diabetes. Whereas I am going to speak of unmasking, you should not develop a diabetes in the world. How? What we need is primordial prevention of diabetes. That means that the disease should not develop. This is a very laudable idea, but I don't know how we are going to succeed in our attempt. But let me discuss with you now. It should not develop at all. What, how, how I am this concept is, uh, this is about 
the month of March 2022, I have been also working in diabetes for more than 15 years, from 1978. I never occurred to me that we are always treating diabetes, drug diabetes, home and drug problem. But never occurred to me, only this month, this year, the March, they occurred to me, what are we? We are not able to think about prosocial diabetes, we are only diagnosed diabetes, treat diabetes. So, that is this should not, what we thought in the month of March, judge the institution of dollar. After that, I wrote to the government of India, please see that some method you must go into the, the, the country, see that the method is successful in preventing diabetes. What steps can be taken for pre-model prevention diabetes? This is the question I want to answer. Here it is. How? Now I have to see the most advanced country in the world all of you know is America. Diabetes prevention program in states. See, in September 2001, the Center for Diabetes Control and Prevention, all of you know what is CDC, issued a press release stating that twin epidemics of diabetes and obesity continue to threaten the health of Americans. So what they did was, that introduced the prevention program, was not itself, or what program back in the health program introduced. Now what happened, and follow up all of it, 10 years, the 2001 produce was expanded, the one person of the US population had diabetes. In 2021, it is 10.5 percent of Americans have diabetes. So there is not even one person reduced, it only doubles the from 2001 to 2021. So this method, whatever they suggested with Americans, is a total failure. So what we can do, such a such a dose that is not able to think or plan how to grow diabetes. Now, obviously, this is not a successful program of Americans. What could be the successful program? Then, what could be the successful program for us to implement prevention of diabetes? I'm sure. I'm. 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 In my mind, always, you know, so many people have won the Nobel laureates because they the country. I think maximum must be the Bengal. I am sure there must be one more chap who is going to detect this method, how to prevent diabetes. I hope it comes to that. So I address the first time I address the Bengal group about this. Then what would be the success group program? Is it possible to achieve diabetes through generation? It's a dream or reality? Then are we under okay, we do that. You know, to focus? You know, which group we should focus? To prevent diabetes. I will give an answer here. An example is I take a very good statement made by a laser king, the king of that fever that is key for diabetes prevention. Now we know where the answer. I asked previous question, oh, now the answer comes this from this slide. Female gender is the key to for diabetes prevention. Okay, except female gender. How 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 female gender can, can prevent diabetes? Oh, that is another question. You see, this is, what, this is another answer. Each slide will, will give you some other answer. Development and origin of any disease will be here. The worm is a very important message I am sharing with, with the August audience here. The worm is well supplied with the mitochondria. But the sperm, we are going to father the child. But sperm contains a few and even those few do not persist in the offspring. What is the reason is that the, the person's work is over. Now here, at fertilization, the only the nucleus of the spermatozoa that enters the womb, and thus all cytoplasm, mitochondria, mitochondrial DNA are exclusively maternally inherited. So now it is very clear, focus I said, now focus should be on the female gender who may help us in preventing the, in preventing the Diabetes. Now, a, a very good epidemiologist uh, showed over 50 years ago, in truth, before he, he conceptualized that body's susceptibility to lifestyle disease was programmed intrauterine. I am going step by step. I told you intrauterine program, there is development, mitochondrial development. Now, he says everything is programmed intrauterine. What does it mean here? Gestational programming is a process whereby stimuli, that is maternal fuel or stress, occur 
causing deathly diabetes at critical or sensitive period of interval, permanently change structure, physiology, and metabolism, which predispose individuals to disease and life. So slowly now we are moving on. All problem is starts with the female and female gender, and and, and and mostly in the pregnancy. Now a question I must I must answer now. Development large enough health and disease. Is it a genetic or it got to be epigenetic? A phenotype, yes, the genes will be there. For many of us, it is true. Genes will be there to genetic pop can cause diabetes. But most important here for us, what I am discussing, going to discuss with you, epigenetic that is intrauterine environment. And so after the child is born, there will be most well, postnatal environment. It's both intrauterine and ex postnatal or not epigenetic. That means any disease will have both gene and epigenetic. But here the most important cause for the development of disease, particularly diabetes, is, is epigenetic. Because that is why genetic will be there. The, unless the epigenetic operates on genetic, the person will not develop diabetes. That is why genetic loads the gun. But another trigger stop. Unless another gun is triggered, that, that, that uh, bullet won't go. So it has to be important to be intrigued in the world. Now the next step will be in another important message I would share that, that particular part is over. Now diabetes mellitus. Is this in it destiny as I told you the genetics or is going to be intrauterine urinary environment of the mother which is more important for the development of diabetes. If you look at this beautiful experiment given here, the exposure to a diabetic environment in intro is also with the increased occurrence of impaired glucose tolerance and a defective insulin secretory response. Adult offspring is independent of genetic predisposition to diabetes. This, 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 this reference shows this nothing to do with type 2 diabetes, no genetic predisposition. So now what is the cause of disease? Here, animal experimental models show visitor rats, the low genetic risk of diabetes, when exposed to hyperglycemia media of auto rat intro, that child, that rat significantly increases the risk of diabetes and other type. So no steroids, no gen, low genetic, but still when exposed to hyperglycemia, another rat, that rat develops diabetes. So the animal, let us see human beings here, maternal hyperglycemia progeny, offsprings are PMI and DS, has been shown, who were in in intro, their mother had diabetes, I would get a risk of diabetes. So then earlier siblings born before the mother developed diabetes. So both animal experiment and in the immune shows exposure to maternal epidemics is important cause for the development of siblings developing diabetes. That is why intra video is more important than net testing. So now we have come to another conclusion. Okay, intra-dividuous is cause for the diabetes. Then let us see how to tackle this problem. Now, as I told you, hypertension pregnancy, gestation diabetes mellitus is defined as any degree of glucose tolerance with onset or first three in the pregnancy. The concern is GDM represents detection of chronic pregnancy dysfunction, and finally, GDM is the stage in the early type diabetes. That means GDM is this will develop type of diabetes. This is only a general information. Now I will go back to an only important angle here. This lady is, figure shows, she is pregnant. She is in a family way. Now, as I told you in David Barker's statement, fetal origin of other diseases. Everything is starts from the fetus. I will, I will explain how, how, it, how it progresses. Here, gestation diabetes mellitus may play a crucial role increasing prevalence of diabetes and obesity and also it causes lots of problems here insulin resistance, increased atherosclerotic and atherogenic hyperprobable, inflammatory markers, hypertension and endothelial dysfunction lead to increased risk for GHCVD. So that now we have come to a conclusion here, GDM is the mother of non-coming diseases. So the answer is, have we found out this GDM is the mother we should, we should prove GDM. That is the question of now we to answer. From there only everything starts. Prevention of diabetes starts from GDM. So here, 
detection of GDM. There are, there are two words I want to use the term. One is detection, another is prediction. This is detection of GDM is well known on all of us. Here, this is what they do. You see the, the idea of guidelines. Dipsy guidelines is there, non fasting. 140 mg, 2 RPG is diabetes, is a GDM. Similarly, NICE can UK again 2 over 140. This, this is another one part of the discussion will be here. This detection of diabetes is this one. Now, what is now going to prediction? That is very important for us. Okay, this woman will become a GDM, will get a GDM. How is it possible? Once you prove GDM, the whole product can be solved. Now, I'll tell you how, how it can be solved. When to test for prediction of GDM? How to when? This can be done here. Fortunately, there was, there was a study in 2018 that may identify gestational diabetes risk in first trimester. They said, put it in their weight. But uh, they also said, which we will predict the chance of baby birth becoming GDM. So here, before that, how I am telling about the fetal development here, each island cell functions in the fetus as an endocrine organ. It starts. But only the, when what happens here in human pancreas begins to develop four weeks after conception. Child fertility is over, for fourth week, start fourth conception, human pancreas begins. And first insulin deposits can be found between week seven and eight. And again, next step will be pancreatic island cell differentiates. This is a very, very important message. This, this is a character of a talk. Pancreatic island differentiates 10th and 9th week of gestation. The ones become, become pregnant, 10th week and 9th week become very, very important weeks in the pregnancy. Recognizes a response to maternal glycemia, 9th week of gestation. I will repeat here when 10th and 9th week of gestation, in the feet, fetus recognizes the response to matter aggressive matter glucose goes up, fetal is not secondary. And now this, that is very, very important here. <coughs> fetal response to matter glucose. So, <coughs> the, another message I would share with you, what is the prandial glycemic level that can be considered as abnormal? Pattern of glycemia in normal pregnancy here, this is the, people get confused. This is the, this is a, this, but this is a, a, a very important message I would share here will be normal pressure level, normal pregnancy will be fasting will be 80 milligrams. 71 plus or minus 180 and 2 over 99 plus or minus 110. So this figure, yeah, all of us, those who are dealing with pregnancy should know Fasting should not cross 80, there is non pressure and 2 over 110. If this is maintained in the pregnancy, that woman will not develop diabetes. Now, what, now let me see the next step. What would happen here? Glycemic level at gestation living for prediction of GDM. As in detection of GDM, any, any time can do it, good for it later. Now, here is a very specific period. Glycemic level at what? Gestation week. Well, we can predict, okay, this lady is going to develop GDM. Because once you detect, once you predict, then all things starts off production. Now you see here, as I told you in the NIH, National Institute of Health, a blood test conducted as early as the 10th week of pregnancy may help identify women at risk of just said diabetes. They told you in 2018 that it's possible we can predict 10th week itself. Then they said, at higher AMS levels at average 5.3 percent or 110 milligrams compared to those without gestation. Those who are 5.1 percent will not develop GDM. The woman who has 5.3 is likely to develop GDM, then what we should is less question to prevent. So there are two points here. 5.1 no problem. 5.3 risk of developing prediction of GDM will occur. The HOA will say 5.3 or Two or post blood pressure are in level are in ten. Now next step will be here. <clears throat> this again important message I want to share with you. First time National Institute of Health study 
2018 suggested AOLC of 5.3 at 10th to be predicted genial. This I discussed and I am again concluding here. So as a predicts. The value will be and it will be predicted later. This is the reference. Now, next problem will be here. But so far, though it is known to the entity, none, none attempted to do it through it. But so far, no assimilation has been given for prediction of GDM. Why it is occurs? Why the prediction occurs at this time? There is no estimation so far. Now, we, we had mentioned the fetal beta cell starts security. I, I mentioned this part in the, the previous slide. The fetal beta cell starts security insulin around 10th to 11th week of pregnancy. Not the mother, fetal cell as far as with the pregnancy. But when the blood sugar goes up, it's absorbed. Once fetal cell starts second insulin, fetal hyperglycemia passes with maternal hyperglycemia. So fetal starts supporting its mother even in the tenth week when blood sugar goes up more than the tenth, the mother fetal will start secreting insulin. That is the crux of the message of the when maternal glucose class is one hundred twenty gram, fetal beta cell will start secreting insulin. As a consequence, what would happen now? Let me proceed further. Scope for prediction of GDM. What is GDM? What is prediction? Scope. Postpartum blood sugar, more than 100 mg, predicts GDM. If PPV postpartum blood sugar at 10th week is more than 110 mg, this the blood glucose has to be brought less than 110 mg before 11th week as fetal beta cell starts creating insulin. This is the message. When the tongue thing is 110, immediately you must not allow it to cross 110 in tongue thing. Because that tongue thing is a crucial time when the mother's breast, uh, fetal insulin starts secreting insulin. Once it starts secreting insulin, it will never stop. You will see here, this is what the uh, study shows. With the fetal insulin secretion, changes the maternal metabolism starts. That's how it started. At tongue thing. When pressure causes the antenna. So, uh, all, all importance for us will be screening blood sugar, maternal blood sugar at 10th week, see that doesn't cross the antenna. But having, uh, having shared this message, we go to the next step will be here fetal aparinsulinemia and maternal glucose. This is a very, very important slide. Here will be fetal aparinsulinemia will favor a Persistently high glucose flux, even at time when metal blood glucose is normal. Once it started, goes up, even at when it comes normal. So, the obvious implication is that glycemic control needs to be optimized very early pregnancy to prevent the establishment of fetal hyperinsulinemia. Once it left hyperinsulinemia, it can never revert back. So, it's very, very crucial period will be about the 10th century down 3. Now, I am telling here. Fetal handling of metal glucose. So all of us know in the physiology that glucose crosses placenta, amnesia, both weight goes, ketone goes away, triglyceride both exchange, insulin will not, not cross. So this basic uh, uh, metabolic changes. Now we will see what happens here. This is a very important lesson again. Fetal handling of metal glucose. So all of us thinking that mother will handle the metal glucose. No. Fetus starts anti mother's glucose at Tantri. How target does you see here? This slide is extremely important for us to understand this problem here. Suppose example big Tantri. Example, under under dyskinia, none of start, one twenty is abnormal, so we never bother. So okay, we'll we, we all my in our mind it's always about one forty. We never expected to know that 126 will be abnormal during pregnancy. In terms of if it is going to be the 126 or 120, 140, 124, whatever be there, you know, leave it there. Then they'll say, okay, the lady comes again to OP department and they do the blood sugar level, it goes up to, oh, fantastic, blood sugar has come down, that is everybody is happy saying that it does 120 or 126, they can PPBS comes down without any intervention. Here we have to think a minute because how is that it has come down next two, three or two weeks, normal, almost normal. How? 
the, the owls are proud of here. Lavant La, week, what had happened, as I told you, Lavant week insulin has come, come, come second in the fetal blood. Lavant week, what happened, the insulin starts securing the fetal, securing a fetal in the start. This brings down the better glucose, which is not desirable. And we are getting cheated. Comment. Maternal blood glucose does not go up due to the fetal insulin handling of the maternal glucose. So it is not allowing, you have you been testing the blood, mother's blood sugar, it will always come normal. It is all due to the fetal handling of the maternal glucose. And that is why when maternal blood glucose 110 milligrams is recorded when in the OP department, immediate action has to be taken to bring PPS less than 110 milligrams, lest she will develop genium and its consequence. That means at the tenth age itself, she is going to declare that she is going to develop a genium in the future once her blood sugar has 110 milligrams. Now, <coughs> poor glycemic control early in pregnancy will result in stastatic fetal hyperglycemia causing exaggerated fetal glucose steel. So, uh, in this slide will give you a very beautiful explanation. Metal glucose on the left side, placenta center, center fetal compartment. And blood glucose the mother goes up. It crosses immediately the placenta, glucose goes to the placenta, fetal compartment. Because fetal pulls it, maternal hyperglycemia pushes glucose into the fetal compartment. Because fetal insulin is secreted here. And then fetal hyperglycemia pulls the glucose from the mother's blood glucose and goes out to adiposity. You can immediately gush all the glucose which is taken by the fetal compartment hyper occurs in the fetus and fetus becomes adipose. That means child, the fetus becomes macrosomic. That fetus is born, in the, in the infant is born, it will become obese. They are called macrosomia. Child will occur, adult it will become obesity. So the fetal glucose still occurs. <coughs> so the explanation here will be as a consequence, the overactive glucose steel will increase the dispersal of metal glucose into the fetus. It goes to the fetus, thus attenuating the levels of maternal hyperglycemia. Importantly, <coughs> the effect of lowering the metal glucose driving with fetus will be greatest in pregnancies with the most hyperglycemic fetus. Most hyperglycemia the fetus, the, the blood sugar will be normal, lower the blood sugar will be metal glucose. So, now summing up about this. Physiology or implies what I mean there, something up here. Again, this is very, very important. I will argue with you and tell you what it should be. Glide, glide, uh, guidelines to screen glucose intolerance, the appropriate distance with that. What we must do, we must all work up. Now, if we take weeks, 10th week, 11th week, 12th week, like that goes on. Now, 20th week, usually what will happen? Insulin resistance starts due to hormone changes of pregnancy. As well as advances, Tumor necrosis of alpha factor, even plus nitrogen, progesterone, leptin, all increase, adiposity comes out. The All these hormonal changes that occur every pregnancy will produce incidences. It's necessary, but it occurs there. But none of us do anything with that. We, most of us, no any, any book we read in the medicine or observing, use of recommendation for screening is to be deeper, 24. Now this is a problem. Now next problem will be here. 10th week, as I told you earlier, post no blood sugar may be 110 mg. Imagine it is there. Then what? Because of that 110 mg, 11th week, next week, keep quiet, fetal bitter cells secreting secret stars. This is the very old product starts for the fetus, the fetus becomes diabetic in the future and mother becomes GDM. Now you see here, fetal beta cell secretion starts. And that will be causing, and the follow up here, unfortunately, presently, none, I know, I am sure anybody in this audience also, I also have not been given. Presently, recommendation to test for the glucose tolerance at tenth week is not followed. Nobody is recommending, nobody is following, and nobody is aware that it was test at tenth week but even at the 24th week, the most of them, 24th week. But 10th week should have done, probably could have brought the genium. Now it's what happened. Percentage, the recommendation to test for the 
glucose tolerance and tongue thinning is not followed as a consequence hyperglycemia and hyperglycemia in fetus diastole hyperglycemia again fetus promote fetal adiposity results in the unresolved offspring if it would be male child obesity impaired growth tolerance and diabetes and a female child to develop obesity gtm and diabetes so all things start this very very crucial material matter here tongue thinning the not checked at that time we are not going to control pressure level this will happen so this is the message i am going to share with you now let us see what what we can do here this is another message i want to share with you very important message prediction of gdm all of us i discussed now is to postpone more than the minimum at tenth week that is prediction i then how to avoid that becoming the prediction how to correct it now yes at uh, the chance are there this is that is what i'm going to give an idea yes at eighth week itself postnatal blood sugar has to be estimated but tenth uh, week is a problem at all so what you must do before tenth week itself dot c whether or could be blood sugar that can be prevented in case if postnatal blood sugar is more than under under the minimums a grace period of 2 weeks is available to maintain pop up blood sugar less than 10 mg at tenth hour this is important as again this 2 weeks is a grace period is not even sleep but if between the 2 weeks of the and bring the blood sugar at tenth or less than at tenth probably that say that mother will not develop gdm here see if if around 10 mg is there at a eighth week you can give metformin as a therapy or your metformin as to be started and continue till 16th week tarn glycemic control to obtain will be 99 plus or 10 those who refuse to take metformin would serve as a controversial matter but here uh, here actually the metformin is not bad in the embryonic stage green line and then here by the embryonic stage all the important organs cellular system heart everything is formed so after eighth week fetal stage so you are not going to harm any embryo by giving metformin because metformin is safe as embryonic stage is over by the eighth week there are many people blindly asking whether they can give metformin you can give because embryonic stage is over so finally primordial prevention Ideally, peak metal postmortem blood sugar should be less than 10 milligrams from preconception period and early weeks of pregnancy. The message will be yes, it is necessary to optimize metabolic control early in pregnancy. That is very very important. Don't think not to do what the textbooks are saying. This will lessen state the pre-pregnancy planning. So, manifest of GDM, I am going to share with you. We have also found out. In the first trimester itself, but that one third of GD woman woman will have a hyperglycemia more than one forty. Note the number more than one forty. And second trimester, forty two, third trimester. This is what we published in two thousand eleven, two thousand two thousand one also earlier. Unfortunately, at that time it never occurred to me that we should have used two or PG postnatal sugar more than an hundred milligram. in the first trimester for prediction of gdm not at that time it was not aware i was never really for the past 3 months now if i had been aware of this in 2007 or 2011 to the 16 probably out of by this time or treat in many people may, may not become gdm or even preventing the child become uh, diabetes so any value the message the message you can make you be any value about normal or normal don't give the gray spread it is not in ten there's not in ten there this is a uh, uh, what to call it in 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 ethics lachman raga when cross lachman raga we have problems same here also you should not cross in ten so finally prediction of gdm at tenth week two or pg one ten mira detection of gdm at two or three or but we are not interested Uh, the diagnosis of GDM is one part, but what I am interested in is prediction of GDM will be at two hour on a time period. That is very very important. So classic level for diagnosing different categories of glucose tolerance, dual pressure will be here. 
categorization of glucose plasma pregnancy, prediction and detection. Both. Now we take it, 140 milligram, this is called detection. What we are thinking about here, DJ, just says glucose plasma, it's also bad, where value will be 120 to 140. What is important for us in the year, early gestational glucose tolerance, tons of lounge, that is prediction. If this prediction is less, you keep less than 10 milligrams, the child will not become diabetic, will not become GDM, and, and, as, and our child also will not develop diabetes. So, otherwise, they will need more than 10 this, uh, the week, we miss the diagnosis, they are prone to develop GDM and diabetes, and IGT diabetes in male. So, the most important thing now, I have introduced the terminology, early gestation glucose tolerance, that is EGGI, the first time introducing the terminology. So, hence, female gender is the key to dietary prevention, short the healthy pregnancy, low birth weight, large birth weight, avoid digestion age, so elevated risk for obesity, and diabetes, hypertension, all this can be avoided, and the intergenerate transfer of risk can be avoided, and then maternal health, the link to the NCD epidemic can be avoided. So all things now it's summing up here, female gender is key to NCD prevention, nothing else, nothing else with prevent diabetes, except taking care of women during pregnancy. So prevention of NCD measures against it should start the interactive period and continue throughout life from early childhood and then prevention of diabetes must begin the in vitro and continue throughout life, life course. So that's why we say the womb is more important than the home and then it all starts in vitro hence for prevent diabetic regeneration yes, as I always tell the word focus on the fetus for the future. This should be mantra after Samar Banaji, another mantra must tell. Focus on the fetus for the future. So friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is all pledge prevent diabetes by detecting diabetes, but detect glucose tolerance very early in the parents and the tenth week itself. Thank you very much for opportunity. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Professor Dr. V. Shesha, for this wonderful session. I request all our delegates for a standing ovation for Dr. Professor D. Shesha for this wonderful, wonderful session, sir. Thank you so much. It's an honor on behalf of Howrah Diabetes Study Society that you gave us time. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, I have got one question for you. Tenth week uh, value goes up to 110. What sh steps should be taken uh, to prevent it going to 140 uh, subsequently? Forty is diagnosis of GDM, that is detection of GDM. What I am asking is prediction of. No, my GDM. question is that that how to uh, prevent that uh, GDM when we diagnose 110 and tenth week? That's what it is. So far. Nobody was answering the question. Now I answer now. It is under 10 crossing. That will be a GD, even GDM. What we should do, I get an anticipation. Now, now we should not wait for 10th week to develop. This has been proved that NH, 9th week, under 10, that, that lady will become GDM. So, what we should do, anticipation. Before the enemy comes, you must stop it. So, Eighth week itself to do blood sugar, if we find it's going to 110, immediately must start, uh, blood sugar is brought down, so that by the time, eighth week itself, even the 110, it will not affect the fetal beta cell. Though you must immediately give a MMT or even metformin, by 10th or 11th thing, it comes to 100 or even less than 110, probably fetal beta cell will not start. As far as fetal beta cell results start, it is not going to produce GDM in the future. So this is the concept and we have, what I want is more people should do the work. And I am requesting obstetrician in the country, in this the Bengal, West Bengal, or Calcutta, or Aura, or there. I have, I, I, I will definitely come back again to obstetrician, talk to them, see how best I can do. Thank you, so, Professor Sir. So you talked about it as focusing on PPBS, 
Is there a yes. role of fasting sugar at all, sir? Can, no, can no, 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 give no, you? not necessarily at all. Because the the see now the NIH told you one hundred and ten milligram for PPPS. So that's what you want. Because most of our people fasting blood sugar is not high, particularly Indians and maybe other countries also. But they they want always get challenges. One hundred and ten milligram is the best to do that, and then. Anything above normal is abnormal, that's another message. So anybody crossing under 10, a very, very highly high risk of she becoming diabetic GDM in the future. And when she becomes GDM in the future, she only becomes type diabetes and her own offspring will become diabetes. The two generations can be prevented. Simple test of doing uh, blood two or post normal matter at 10th week. 10th week too late, 8th week and then bring it down by 10th week. You can save the mother and her child becoming diabetes. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, but uh, the uh, one of the important comment about this thing is um, even if you detect uh, 110, is there any robust study which shows that it is definitely going to predict uh, GDM later on? Number one. And number two is uh, your comment about starting uh, an organ. Uh, still debated because it is 8th week or 10th week you are talking no, about. No, 8th week is no problem. Suppose uh, the 8th week even pressure goes up more than 110, immediately you can try and bring it down to less than 110 because insulin starts only at 10th week. 8th week even is 110, 120, nothing will happen. Only thing is that pressure should not cross at 11th week 110. Because one, and that is the level beta cell starts from the fetal cell pancreas. So one should not be apprehensive about the 110 or 120 at the level of 8th week. So the opportunity is given, God has given time, two, two weeks time, grace period, to bring it down either with a meal, meal plan or with metformin, and the immediate will bring down to 100 or 105 like that. Your point is very well taken. Only thing is, uh, there needs robust study to establish that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am telling. See, some, as I told you, I am happy to talk to Bengal, Bengal doctors. Yeah, they are all born for uh, Nobel prizes. So uh -huh. you must, you must tell your doctors, colleagues, do that so that we can. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, we'll please, do it. please, I am very happy. The next deep meeting, we'll present it. And uh, I am happy to tell you also, Minister of Health, Government of India. As approved, they are accept, we will do that. But who will do it? I am talking to everywhere. Uttar, uh, Uttar Pradesh, they started working on that. And then uh, Madhya Pradesh, we are taking very seriously. Tamil also doing that. Now I request you, who are the audience over here, including our friend uh, Samar Banaji, but to go on talking to the obstetricians and tell them how to go step by step. If anybody is interested, I will send the performer out to it. Sure, one more question, sir. Yeah, a small question, the cutoff of 110 at 8 weeks or 9 weeks, what you were saying, uh, based on postprandial after any major meal or uh, OGT device? Dr. Sheshaya, the question from the floor is, is this PPPS an OGTT test or is it a meal no, post meal, meal test? No, meal, 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 no, no, meal, meal. Because uh, we are not, uh, no, it's not a post meal test. So one last question, sir, from my side, we are doing so much for women and perhaps for the future generation, men and women, but what about the present husband? Women are outliving men anyway and you want to, you want to detect, see the women have an opportunity to have their diabetes detected fairly early. So what happens to the husbands? We lose them early. Please tell me. I'm just saying that we should have an opportunity to even check the men when we are checking the women. Man has got very little role to play in pregnancy. I think the, the answer that you have already yeah. given for the future <laughs> generation is All the world is creation is by Shakti. Shakti. Uh, it, uh, yes, you are right. The <laughs> maternal, uh, microdontial DNA is all from mother. Yeah, so is all also, Shaktis are from yeah. mother. What we are are basically from mother. For yes. now all 90% what we are today is because of the mother. So ignore yes. the ignore the male anyway. 
and that will be the good thing to do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Thank you on behalf of thank you, thank you. Society. Thank you. And I thank Eris for sponsoring the session. I would take a moment, sir, for felicitation of Dr. Panerjee. We have this token of appreciation from Shangbedan, an NGO who is working with special children and they have curated this beautiful Ma Durga and we could not have any other day than the day of Mahalaya, this auspicious occasion for giving out this beautiful thing.